and gents, welcome, welcome. We are on Green Street in East London, 24th of January, two days after Chinese New Year. We are in an area where a lot of Indian people live and have their businesses. As you can see, there is a lot of um, shops with saris and exotic clothing, I would say. Very colorful. We are going to walk backwards very soon. I'm just going this way to see what's going on in this area. Oh, it's the time of the day when kids came out of the school around 3, 4, 3, 4 p.m. So that's why it's so busy with them. Oh, this is the Hyderabad Darbar. It's Indian restaurant and banqueting hall. Look at that. Bad boys. It's a whole bazaar. If you live in this area or if you used to live here, feel free to say hi, write some comments underneath the video. I'm always happy to hear from local people. Feel free to say anything positive or negative. I'm here to listen and to learn about London. So if you know anything about this area and what it used to be or what it's like, do let me know. I'm, I'm always happy to learn new stuff. Let me take a picture of this. Let me see. It's 3.30 right now. 4.30 is gonna be sunset. And it's gonna be getting dark at that time I'll be in East Ham area so we better get cracking we better get going okay this is the end of the road for me <laughs> we are gonna walk this way now exploring Green Street I don't think I've ever been here to be honest can't remember Now we are heading towards Upton Park, that is at the bottom of this street, as far as I remember from the map. Let me double check. Oh yeah, all the way down. I like to come out of central London because many people think what they see in Leicester Square, they think that's the real London, you know? Yeah, it's all those tourists that they see there is what London is like. And they're absolutely shocked to see other nations, other races living in the suburbs. So I'm more than happy to show them the real London where we all live. <laughs> in West in West London. Same story. It's multicultural.
don't smoke, of course. I don't smoke cigarettes, I don't smoke anything. I don't use shisha either. But I know guys enjoy it and they can spend hours and hours. I've learned from Turkey, from my trip to Turkey last year, they can, sp they can spend hours chilling and relaxing. <laughs> You put them in a shisha bar, you come and collect them in a few hours, they're all happy and relaxed. Oh my gosh. The best thing for men, for, for ladies as well. If you have a, <laughs> a, a guy who is stressing a lot, you put them in a shisha place, come and get them in a few hours. They will be nice and smiley and relaxed. Perfect. Got some bazaar. <laughs> wow, look at this shop. Lotus. Got loads of those. Bangles. Sorry, so stuff. Wow, cake box. Massive, massive shop full of cakes. Aloudin, Aloudin across the road, some sweets. Oh my gosh, it's busy. It's all the kids coming. This is the worst, worst, worst time to be on the bus stuck with 50 or 100 screaming kids. Oh my God, how I hated it when I used to commute to work and if I got, if I happen to be on a bus. At this time, oh my god, nothing, nothing worse, nothing worse, I hate it. Loud, 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 screaming, oh my gosh. And you are cramped in zero space. Just saying, I've been there, I know precisely <laughs> what it's like. the houses and stuff looks nice I like it I like the pink color it's nice Oh, 
Ice colors. Let me try and zoom out to get more in. Oh, and this is sewing. Sewing stuff. And fabrics. So it's trying to get through. I remember in uh, one of the cities in Pakistan, it was full of fabric. I can't remember if it was Faisalabad or one of those. Very colorful. been all red from what they chew I forgot I forgot what it's called but you know what I mean in in Burma in Myanmar oh my gosh as well a lot the teeth are all gone and all red from chewing that thing A nice shop. Looks like looks like a beautiful shop. I like the, the windows and looks very luxurious. Mm. On the other side you've got the same yeah. same kind of no, oh, if you wear this in the winter, you're gonna freeze. You should see what I'm wearing. <laughs> 17 layers with a massive winter coat on. I'm ready to go to, you know, outer space with it. I'm like a balloon layered up and a scarf and all that stuff. <laughs> gone, gone are those days when I try to look nice and feminine and whatever in order um, to impress. Now it's all about being practical and survival. So loads of accessories here. designer on the top let me zoom in for you oh. cuckoo designer looks quite nice for somebody who is claiming to be cuckoo <laughs> I'm just coming back to show you the Bombay fashion
I'll definitely make my way to Mumbai and I'll spend some time there. Last time I went to India, I skipped Mumbai because I was flying to Vasco da Gama to, uh, uh, to Goa from Ahmedabad. Let's go, let's go in for a sec, if they let me. seen before. This is Krishna. And again we've got Cuckoo, Cuckoo Fashion, that's quite an unusual name. I wonder why they call it Kuku. The actual name of the designer. <laughs> Is it Puja? silk house I know it's blinking too much in your eyes sorry about that guys but wow so many stores with clothes here so the beginning of the street wasn't as I would say impressive or you know as busy with, with the stores with clothes as it is here in this part Fuchka house Oh, Cromwell Road, Cromwell Road. That reminds me of, uh, isn't there a Cromwell, Cromwell Road in near Gloucester, Gloucester Road, Cromwell Hospital, East Shopping Centre. I would love to go in. <laughs> Shall I try to go in? <laughs> yes, I'll try to go in. They will probably kick me out. But... There is shaft. Shaftesbury Road. Just for me, I want to show my family what it looks like. I just want to go to the end and come back one minute. Thank you so much. I just want to see the shops. I've never been here before. Thank you so, so much. But is the new channel or something else? But is the no, no, no. It's the allowed. Need to permission. You know? Is that your cell in the shopping center? Literally, just where I see the East Market and come back just to see what is in here. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Looks kind of new, doesn't it? Wow, I'm 
impressed. They've got German donut kebab. I've tried it for the first time a few days ago. It was incredible, guys. It was so good. So, yeah, we've seen it all. Now we are going back. It looks very nice. Nice and clean. Warm. That was nice. It's always good to see some malls in this area. It looked kind of posh and luxurious inside. Very nice. Shaftesbury Road to my left. Traffic jam is starting now, the after school rush hour, school run. should have eaten all this ginger last few weeks when I wasn't feeling well. That wasn't the case. I ate some, but not a lot. Oh, look, people love this thing. It's the ice cream. Let me see if I can spot some inside. Oh, no, it's a car. Yeah. 
one of my viewers, she always comes on and says she likes <laughs> samosa so much. She's always eating while watching my videos. Hi, Dessa, if you are watching. <laughs> Her samosas. What is this? Oh, that sounds amazing! Flame grilled chicken. Oh, let's walk away before I spend all my money in that shop. In that shop. What is this? Christmas and New Year after sale. Seventy percent off. It is January after all, so sales are happening. I'm really hoping I can get a lot of masala dosa um, in India. I know it's South Indian and I might have a problem with that, getting that. I love masala dosa and paper dosa. I love it so much. Hi, I'm just looking. Thank you. Thank you. It's blinking too much. I I don't like too much the uh, the deep fried stuff. Like I will eat it if there is nothing else, and I have to jump on a long train ride, you know, in order to survive. And I know it's tasty, so here and there it's okay. But I I would prefer not to eat it every day. But you have to do what you have to do, and eat whatever is available while traveling. This is a long street, boys and girls. 28 minutes, still going strong. Wow, look at that sale. Let me take a picture of that. The first thing is buried. I see two birdies. look on this street and then we'll walk to Upton Park. Desi. Closing down sale, Rangoli. Yeah, I always wondered, let's say in Pakistan, in that city, let's, let's say it was Faisalabad, I can't remember which city was the textile, um, Hyderabad, Faisalabad, I can't remember. Um, a lot of the businesses were selling what seemed to be the same thing, 
the same kind of you know colors material style fabrics and stuff and i was always wondering how they keep how, how they stay in business with so much so many shops so many shops selling the same thing you know so many of them in this area or if you used to live here and you have anything to say if you want to say hi if you want to comment about how the area has changed or or what's going on how it used to be is it better is it worse feel free to leave a comment under this video i love hearing from local people consider subscribing i'll be all over all over london okay see you I go out and film almost every day for many hours, so there might be something you like to see. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. That's quite exotic. Would be nice to try something like that, Somali breakfast. There's some kind of coffee point going on here. Oh my gosh, that looks good. That's. Uh, I might. Uh, I might actually eat in this area, to be honest, guys, before I make my way back home. I'm heading to East Ham. It might be dark, though. It's not, it's not the best thing to do with my new equipment as well. But it is what it is. Meow, meow. You have to be brave, little kitty. <laughs> and after I finish, I might get some whatever exotic food I'll find something not too expensive because I only had two crumpet, crumpets yeah I bought myself crumpets with blackberry jam I had only two before leaving my house and I've been filming for a while now so by the time I finish I'll be hungry and I would be silly to eat same old food if I'm in this area I'll have to sniff out something good and exotic, you know. Whatever it is. Could be biryani. Could be... Would be amazing to have some masala dosa or some kind of dosa. Para, paratha, paratha would be good. With something, some... Roti... Roti chanai? Chanai? I don't know. If I could get dal with some naan bread, Whew. my gosh, my gosh, I don't know if I can survive <laughs> until then. <laughs> I'm getting hungry, <laughs> but yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna reward myself for filming with some nice and exotic food. Talking about that, there is stuffed naan, paratha naan, naan, naan which. I don't know what naanwich is. Sandwich, naanwich. My 
goodness. Sounds very good, you know. Another Romanian shop. They all seem to look the same with that with that flag as their head uh, sign. That's, that's why it's so easy to spot them. Peri Peri is amazing. I love Peri Peri. I like it here. I'm definitely gonna come back. It's especially like at this time of the day. It's busy and, and the shops have good food here. Definitely gonna come back here. Welcome to London. <laughs> he probably thought I was a tourist. Welcome to London. I've been here longer than him, potentially. Who knows? And I know he was probably born here. Who knows? But maybe not. No, he wasn't. I could tell by the accent. my favorite shop there is bong written on top some some antennas going on on top That's where we are right now. Oh my gosh, there's a fox running through the traffic in the distance. Yesterday I saw a fox on the train tracks. We are on the present road right here. And there is Greg's. I always think of Mr. Mossy when I see Greg's. shops they're everywhere they're taking over London <laughs> wow guys let me take a picture 
beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we made it all the way to Upton Park. I don't think I've ever been outside of this station. Maybe inside changing trains, yes. But never outside, as far as I know. Sunday market. Let me cross the road and see what's going on. Would be nice to pop in on Sunday. I usually spend weekends in the city centre when it's busy, so I don't get to see all these markets out of London, you know. But I should literally make the effort and come on Sundays and see what's going on. Oh, this is big. This is a big area here. Look how it's spelled. Litchi. See, I've never had luck buying these mangoes. Uh, they look good in Lidl. They sell two of them for, I can't remember how much. But every time I buy them, they're just nasty, dry. Um, some of them are brown, zero. It's just not good at all, at all, and I've tried. And I adore mangoes. Mangoes are my favorite food in the world, but not those dry ones, hard ones, not, not ripe ones. It's not good. Oh my gosh, it's massive! It even goes a little bit behind there. Look at all these stalls here. Lots of butchers. definitely buy some since I bought as I mentioned earlier I bought um, like blackberry jam and I would like to fry those plant plantain plantains fry them up they become mini pancakes then you put some then you put some um, blackberry jam on it yum 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 
This is massive guys, I'm so coming back here on a Sunday or whenever there is more action happening. Ten pounds. It's okay guys. Can I ask you what's happening on Sunday? It's my first time here. This is massive. Yeah, Sunday is uh, busy. Uh, busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Sunday is busy. And it's also so so this is open every day, I think. A little uh, bit. You know, Monday, Wednesday. Just Monday, Wednesday. Uh, it's closed, yeah, Monday, Wednesday. It's the shop is open. So I, I'm, lucky, I'm lucky to see at least a little bit today, on Tuesday. Today's yeah. Tuesday, right? Woo, yeah. huge. Yeah. Thank you so much, take care. So you see guys, we've got a little sneak peek of what's gonna happen here on Saturday, Sunday. This is amazing. Mohammed Upton Park, meat and fish. To be honest, I'm taking such a long time in this area. I don't think I'm gonna even make it to um, East Ham today. I might have to dedicate a special day only for East Ham. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what the time is and all that. Muli Muli. I love Muli Muli with salt. Grated, grated finely with Muli Muli. Sorry, I meant to say with salt. I got distracted by someone. So much garlic. My gosh, guys, this is massive. Wow, 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 wow. They have some backpacks. I need a new backpack for India. My one is Kenna. Sharing a little bit from carrying too much water. Because cat needs water, you know. Oh, guys, I could spend half an hour just filming here on Sunday. Look, there's so much to see. There is only so much central London you can see. You know, it's good to venture out and see other parts of London. This is the real London. This is where we live, in places like this. With markets happening. As I said, it's multicultural. You can find everything possible and impossible from all countries around here. Very exotic. Grapefruits, I love grapefruits.
Can you only imagine all these stalls taken, all these spaces taken on on Saturday, Sunday? Wow. No, I I will try to go to East Ham. While I'm in the area, you know, it's not really close to me, it's not close to where I live. So when I made the effort to come here, I don't know what it's going to be like filming in the dark there. You know, it's not, it's not nice being in the suburbs when it's dark because there is not enough light for filming, that's what I mean. But I can try, never try, never know. Four o'clock, 16 minutes right now. So sunset is happening soon. So I think I'm gonna end it here, boys and girls. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please press the like button. Please subscribe if you are new. As you can see, we are venturing out. You might find some videos from all over London that, would, that could interest you. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.